The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by the hosts of this crazy-ass show are for entertaining purposes only. None of this is real. This is all cap. No one a part of this show is exposing any real information about themselves or any names that may be mentioned during the recording of this show. Cheers, bitches. Bro, you ever seen that clip with 6 9 in the club? And he get punched? Yeah. Have y'all seen that clip? Yeah. So 6 9 got punched. He was the nigga that punched him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Glasses. Wait, for real? Yeah, look, 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 bro oh, grabbing his phone. Yeah, we got a round of applause for that one, man. I got a round of applause for that one, man. Everybody want to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Hey everybody, look, welcome to another episode of Everyday is Friday. Yo, you know what I'm saying? We got some special guests. Now, before we get into this, look, get out your feelings, get in your bag, okay? Because whatever we say on this podcast is our opinion. And before you cancel us, make sure you subscribe to us. All right, let's, let's get, get it. it. So who we got today? It's good, man. It's your boy Chink Capone, aka Ink Capone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. What? It's, it's American spelled backwards. That's how American I am. Nessa Redon. Yes, my name is Nasarima Ladon. Nasarima Nadon. Nasarima. Nasarima. There you go. Nasarima Kadon. Nasarima Kadon. Nasa Ladon. I can always remember yeah, that shit. I, I, that's often every time I see you, if we're at the club, hey, Nasarima Ladon. <laughs> like, like, I'm just going to say that shit. Oh, yeah. Girl, you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. BHN, Fat Daddy, Fat Mac. The, the 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 biggest and the smoothest fat guy on OnlyFans, but I am the second, third smoothest big guy in the room right now. Every day is Friday. Hey, so speaking of that, you brought it up. OnlyFans, y'all too. Y'all been going crazy, crazy. <laughs> like crazy, like, <laughs> like, like like crazy, bro. Like hey, bro, man. but I love the hustle. So can some. So how do you feel like dudes doing that shit? You know what I'm saying, like. All right, let me be the first to say, bro. I used to be one of them niggas that used to be on some, man, you a dude doing OnlyFans, you, you, you on some weird shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga, it ain't for no nigga to be out there, you know, slinging his meat out there on yeah, bitches man. and shit. You know what I'm saying? But here I am. Slinging meat. <laughs> yeah. Slinging the elbow. Hey. I'm talking about the whole leg. <laughs> hey, do your thing, brother. Nigga, I'm do talking your about thing. nigga. Mm. I chill. Mm. I feel like this, man. I feel like. Dudes getting on OnlyFans is just like dudes used to be back in the day, man. We used to sell mixtapes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. We used to beg niggas, hey, buy my mixtape. Mix right. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't lying. Buy yeah. my mixtape. Now, you feel me? We just like the shorties. Please subscribe to my link. No cap. Yeah. We so all out here selling mixtapes. So y'all do get like a lot of like what backlash because of y'all boys, you know. Hell no. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. Ain't nobody say nothing to me. I look yeah, at nah. it the, the positive way. If you say anything bad about me, I'm going to say you body shaming. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. No cap. At this point, yeah. No cap. He can, can, I, can, I, can I say body that? Shame. Can I say body shaming? Nah, you you critique. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like how you said that. I don't know. Man. Like, you might have to change you that word, shake, though, bro. You in shape, bro. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like Yeah, this, 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 okay, look. This, this for more like the big people, man. The big people, like, you know what I'm saying? You got it easy. That's it. That's really what it means. you got muscles, I ain't gonna cap. You got muscles. I yeah, thought all bro. three of us was gonna get the beatboxing in this motherfucker. Remember <laughs> the fat boy? Yeah, fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So look, so Chink. Yep. How many y'all done been through? You already know what question I'm about to ask. How many what? How many? Bro, how many women you been through? On just doing like, OnlyFans. It's, oh, it's OnlyFans. Yeah. Um. I mean, if you go subscribe, you will know. Uh -huh. what's, the, what's the what's the subscription name for the people out there? You know. Oh yeah, you can you can go which one? This one right here. Yeah, yeah you can right, go to yeah. you can go to Chink Capone. You know what I'm saying? Simple like that, man. Can, you going, you going cancel? Is it weird you? if a dude come up to you like let us let's say if I just text you, hey bro, 
Can you give me a discount code on that on your OnlyFans? Bro, I get I get messages all the time. Most of my For fan real? base is all niggas. Cause they wanna see them, the girls that I, you know, be doing be videos with, yeah. and be around. They wanna yeah. see like what's going on behind the scenes. No oh, cap. Man. I ain't gonna lie. One Matter day fact, I was I had, coming in the house. Oh, I was coming in the house late and my ex was leaving the house. And I said, what the fuck? Wait, you you gonna talk about that? Now? I, on, I had chill, to. Chill, my ex was chill, leaving chill, the house. Chill, I said, what the fuck? What was y'all doing? He said, go subscribe. Bitch, I was mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Any, Mad as anyway, hell. Anyway, anyway, oh. You just threw me off. I forgot what the fuck I was about to say. I mean, I'm glad we could laugh about this shit, but like, you know, man, what I'm, I'm mad. mad. I'm, I'm still mad. mad. Bro. Okay, well, look. Well, look, oh, all shit. is forgiven, I guess. <laughs> I love you so, still. I love you still, baby. Uh, okay, so, damn, that kind of fuck. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so, look, so, go ahead. y'all, um. So, no as far as, like, from, you know, coming from Miami up to Atlanta, how was the transition as far as, like, you know, your fan base and, you know, opportunity wise? Oh shit, it was like a no burner. It was easy for me because shit, me and bro, we we done did everything out there in Miami. No yeah. cat. I'm talking about yachts, yachts, yeah. yachts, <laughs> yeah. jet skis, yeah. parties. We on this yeah. island, on this. We done we done did everything. So after a while, it's like, you know, Miami, you can't really compare it to the A because the A is more like a it's still lit, but it's more like a workspace, workspace too. Like yeah. I'm talking about you. Is you got no excuse to not go out here and get it. Get like I'm talking about with anything you do, you could Facts. like you know even shout out to them. I keep hearing about them water boys. Yeah, the water yeah. Boys. You, know, you could yeah. go out here and sell water and make yeah. something happen. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I, tell him, I would tell him a boy the other day. Shit, I said in Miami, bro, like you don't see that shit at all. It's a different hustle. It's, like, it's a Miami. lifestyle more yeah. like it's it's more like a you made it when you really didn't. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. It's, it's more like that illusion almost. You mm -hmm. feel me? So it was lit though. It was fun. You know I lived saying? in Miami for three months <clears> and. It was just, it was depressing. <laughs> it was just, but it just, everything's so beautiful. It's just, yeah, but it yeah. just, it's expensive, yeah. it's depressing. It's just like, all right, bro. I'm ready yeah, to but till you go outside and you see your dream, bitch, right? Then you look to the left and you see your other dream, bitch. And you look down the street and you see your other dream, but you be like, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. that shit way for like the first, for the first 380 days living in Miami is lit. Mm -hmm. After that, it's like, all right, so. Was new, yeah, yeah, yeah. no cap. Cause it's you know, so fast. I feel like since I've been out here, since we've been out here, it's like every day. Nah, we've I've been seeing you blowing. That's what yeah, I'm saying. I've been seeing you blowing up. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause I finally, I'm finally able to kind of like spread my focus, my my focus, my yeah. wings, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, really focus and shit. And then you know, I got people like you, you know, bro, you know, yeah. come tap yeah. and in. And you know, like work. me and anybody who work with me, it's never no like. I always love if you if you want to work. Let's work. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I always been on that grind. Now you're a genuine you dude, bro. I fuck with you. Nah, I appreciate that, bro. Look, so I ain't gonna lie. We gotta talk about uh your show that you on. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to ask. Bro, yeah, no, let me tell you something. I went to the premiere, bro. That bro, shit was funny. I seen little clips of the shit, bro. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Bro, bro. who hit you? A nigga that look like him. <laughs> no cap, bro. bro no cap. I almost squared up with you when I was <laughs> Yo, no shit. Yo, 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 that's, that's funny, that's but no, up. actually, so I boxed for six years. So I know how to defend myself really well. It looks like he connected, but he didn't connect. If you slow it down, the screen recorded slow it down, he didn't hit me. Okay. At all. Because yeah, the way yeah. that dude was some good edits. Bro, what? Bro, yeah. they got, they got you know what's funny, though? Like you know a nigga get knocked out, he be like, nah, but you know, he he ain't really clear. He ain't really clear my shit. It wasn't though. clean, like, though. He ain't really. Buddy didn't touch me, period. But them angle, them ca shout out them cameramen, man. Yo, I, I kissed, look, I kissed her ass. Like, literally kissed her ass. And they edited it and made it look like I was eating her out from the back. Oh, wow. Damn. Bad. That's good editing. Bro, Great bro. editing. Shout out to Eric. Speaking of fights. You already know I'm about to ask. Oh shit. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, nobody don't probably know. He don't know. My bro don't know. Bro, you ever seen that clip with 6 9 in the club and he get punched? Yeah. Have y'all seen that clip? Yeah. So 6 9 got punched. He was the nigga that punched him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Hold Wait, for real? Yeah, look, 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 bro grabbing his phone. Yeah, we, we got a yeah, clap yeah. for that. We need a round of applause for that one, man. I, don't, hey, I got a round of applause, we need a round of, uh, a round of applause for that one, man. Look, look, look. We don't condone bullying, but look, listen, man. If you bullying everybody, bro, if you bullying everybody, just expect something to happen back to you. And it just happened to be a person like me where he tried to bully me in the club. Like, he gotcha. tried to bully me in the club and got punched on. He put him on the right now. He said, Oh, damn, damn. Man. But yeah, man. Uh, he, and we got the full my, video, too. Yeah, we got the full yeah. video. 
He be in my DM. Hey, you every should put that on day. your own fans. Oh, ah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he so be, he so he be in my DM. Like, oh, no, and right. that's free game. You know me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah, so he what, be in my DM. Yeah. Every, six nine is in my DM every day. Every day. I hate you so much. But I, bro, with the punch shit, mm -hmm. I, here, I'll pull it up right now. He DM'd me and yeah. said, ha, ah, this is the second time you got punched in your face, da da da, da because he tried to send some goons to do something to me, but I beat both of his security guards up. Wow, he was crazy, taking the piss bro. pause. Hey, look, man, let's just stop the violence, okay? That's a, I just like, cause you know, what I, I'm you know, it's so crazy. You're right. I agree with you 100. percent But I support fighting. <laughs> I mean, he was, that's not. That's he was a, a boxer. That's though, you know what I mean? You can't really. Violence. No, but the reason I support fighting point. is because a lot of these kids nowadays don't know how to fight, so they resort to guns. Guns, yeah. But if you if you sit down and teach somebody how to properly defend Box, themselves. Yeah. We a lot of family members and a lot of these kids and shit will still be here. Sit down, mm -hmm. teach your kids how to fight. If you got a problem with somebody, teach right. them how to communicate. If it, if you can't solve it with communication, scrap. Yeah, yeah. you Facts. feel me? That's some real see, spill. The, see, the thing is, I agree with you on that. But you in an age now where it's like with the phones and shit, right? Yeah. So that shit never gonna die. So I see if we it's like me and Chief get into it. All right, bro. Fuck you. Fuck me. We fight. Boom. No cameras. We make up probably two hours later. All right, bro, I was tripping. Yeah, I was tripping too. Over with. But when the camera's on, that shit is for like if you do anything wrong on the camera, it's for life. It's yeah, like it's man. like I can't like if he just came up and slapped yeah. me, I cannot let that shit slide. That's crazy. That makes sense. If it's yeah. on camera, that makes it a yeah, lot of like, sense. That's like that's like like the Chris Rock Will Smith shit. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That that's gonna, that that's gonna yo, be you know for, you know it's forever. gonna be a generation of people that's not going to know Chris Rock for nothing else but getting slapped. Get What's the most girls you slept with in one day? <laughs> yes, sir. This dude crazy, man. <laughs> He's getting real. Uh, 10. 10? Yeah. That's, that's, that's a lot. Hey, and then this is my rule, though. I give a bitch one round because I know I got rounds to give. Okay. If that makes okay, sense. That may, okay. So I, maybe if I really like you, I'll go multiple rounds. Multiple you know rounds. what I'm saying? But other than that, if I got, if I got a, a schedule, you know, we... Guys, it's like flights. You guys to. Uh, so I don't even want to ask how many you did in a week. Oh man, see that's what I'm saying, bro. Y'all gonna try to get me canceled? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Canceled. No, 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 no. Just no blue face man and whoever else. They ain't even. They ain't even talking about what I'm talking about. You yeah. feel me? All who, that. Out of anybody in the industry, who you think? Who you think you you match with? What you mean, like as body wise? Body, body wise, bro. On some real shit, like and they gonna have to really compare me to like Chris Brown or some shit. Damn. That's, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. I'm gonna really keep it real, like. And this, I mean, this before I even thought about doing a video, no Instagram shit, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My paper work long. That's player. So before all the social media and all yeah, that Yeah, before stuff, I even gotten all of that. Yeah, so I've you been, was like, what really just I'm like, talking yeah. about. Like, How many damn. people think you Puerto Rican? Everybody. <laughs> no cap. I'm black and white, though, man. Shout out to all my, uh, what you call them? Mulattoes. 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 That's what yeah. I, build. I thought it was Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> 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 this nigga Rob. This nigga Rob. All right. <laughs> You are what your daddy is. Yeah, my pop, man, he black as shit. Did y'all see that thing where it said, like, in, like, the next hundred years, like, like black would be, like, the predominant race? Because, right. um... Yeah, they say it because, like, a lot of uh, other people are kind of dying out because they're not, um... Uh, they're not producing as, as much children, of course. But mm -hmm. not only that is black people are going outside... And and going with everybody. Yeah, we fucking yeah. everything. Yeah, so yeah. like like I, I see some words like black is gonna be within the next hundred years gonna be like like seventy percent, no, sixty percent of the world. I mean that yeah. makes sense. You keep mixing the pot, that shit. Yeah, shit, mm, yeah. it's gonna be done. Make man. a good gumbo. Yeah. So what's your type? My type? Mm -hmm. Um my type, uh, I like ratchet shorties, man. I like my shorties ratchet. Yeah. I like ratchet yeah. shorties, I like fat girls, I like skinny girls. Yeah, so, I boy. don't like tall girls though. What? I don't. They knees look a little weird. <laughs> nah, I'm lying. I don't like tall girls because I'm short as hell. So it feel like I'm 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 a little baby trying to get picked up. I'm gonna ask y'all. So how long like y'all been knowing each other? Like y'all two? Like when y'all met? Like y'all met in Miami? Like, yeah, hell yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie. They got a good ass friendship. I was just telling them. Yeah, like, yeah, like, my dog, man. Them, hell yeah, bro. Yeah, like four and a half years. Bro, I met this nigga. Shit. The funniest story, bro. We at, I'm at this mansion, bro. We had this mansion party bro, and no shit. Cap. Bro, everybody else chilling, vibing and shit, bro. Everybody got on clothes, doing anything. This nigga the only nigga in the whole house with his drawers on. Like, you know what I'm saying? With just his drawers. We, it's a pool no party, shirt. though. It's a pool party, but, uh -huh. you know, he's got his drawers on. But it's hoes in that bitch. What nah, it's lit. Oh, yeah. It's lit. 
So this yeah. nigga come up to me the first time I ever met this nigga. Uh, he just come up to me on. I forget what the hell he said. He said some. Sh- I think it was my shit. He's like, stay positive. <laughs> then this nigga ran into the pool, fam. Jumped head first, foot. but peep this, two feet. Oh, Wait, what? I jumped in. It was three feet of water. Three feet of water. Three feet of water. Oh, wow. He and jumped I, in yes. head first, hit his whole shit right. So he flowed up. When he flowed up, I noticed that he was on this floaty. So it looked like he was relaxing. Whole time, I ain't know the nigga was knocked out in the pool for like Bro, an hour. No, it was two hours. I was unconscious what? in the pool for two hours. Luckily, he didn't go under because everybody was in that for bitch lit. two hours. And then, he- this where it get crazy, right? Bro, I really thought he was vibing. Bro, look. <laughs> I'm in the pool. I get out. I'm... Granny skin. I'm talking about wrinkly prune, all the prune, bruh, no lie. I get out. I, I go to all my homies like, nigga, y'all wouldn't go. I was in the pool dead. Bro, I honestly, really, <laughs> even to this day, bro, I honestly thought you was vibing, bro. Bro, this, this is the first yeah, day yeah. I met, buddy. First yeah, day I met, Y'all bro, just became friends. Bro, we had a yeah. big-ass mansion. Bro, no cap, bro. After it really that, was, was like, this nigga from vibing, there, bro. wild. Yeah, we just yeah. was lit from there. He was like, this nigga wild, but he can't match my speeds. And then, you know, he, and then you know he was producing and shit, so I always used to just, yeah. you know, come yeah, through, listen to some beats and shit. So. We're finna wind down a little bit, but I gotta ask you a question. What's the most you ever spent on a girl? What's the most I ever spent on a girl? Mm-hmm. I think you're asking the wrong person, man. Dick 99? Real <laughs> shit, <bro. laughs> Meat 99, oh, bro. Meat 99. <laughs> Plus tax. Fucked- you heard? That's Plus tax, dog. bro. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> that was a good one. Me? I'm an ugly nigga, man. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta spit it all. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> spit it all, man. Yeah. I gotta spit it all. I'm a cute fat nigga. See, so, it's so, <laughs> different. So, 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 you know, they be like, oh, he cute. You know, he just got a little, you know, weight on him. So it's, the gotta, it's, the, it's the glasses. 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 So me, I gotta, I got, to, I got to spin the bag. I got some shit I want to say now. Usually, I don't, you know, be trying to air anything out, but <sighs> I bought a verse from somebody. Right. right? Uh-huh. I make music. I rap and shit sometimes, sing sometimes. I bought a verse from somebody, and I'm going to say their name. I bought a verse from Soldier Boy, mm-hmm. oh. right? So I got a song from Soldier Boy, and uh, I sent the money out. Boom. They like, oh, Soldier Boy's going to do the record in you know, a couple hours, da-da-da-da. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm waiting on the record back, waiting on the record, and I get the record back. Did y'all see that interview where Soldier Boy was mad at Kanye and Soldier Boy was yeah. like, uh, so he, he took, took me off the album. album. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The album, yeah. And then what did Kanye say? Oh, like he was saying, like he told he was on drugs. Oh, he said it was yeah. trash. It was yeah, trash. He was like, did y'all hear that Soldier Boy verse? Yeah. I bought a verse from Soldier Boy, and oh my fucking goodness, okay, I feel disrespected, right? Oh, wow. I got a verse from Young Buck that was better than Soldier Boy verse. Damn. When the last time you heard a fucking Young Buck? Uh, G Unit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm pissed, man. I'm going to say this, right? For the... <laughs> nigga said, <laughs> nigga said, when the last time you heard a young <laughs> buck? Young buck? I'm like, damn, I ain't, that's just yeah, middle damn. school, dog. Know? Like, what the fuck? Shit. <laughs> so, man, this shit. Hey, young buck, flow better than Soldier Boy. Come on, Come on bro. bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, no, no disrespect to a song, boy, but man, when is like, bro, I got, I play wild. the song right now. I have the song every, bro. This shit, bro. Listen. <laughs> so you agree with Kanye? So. Oh you. my God, Kanye <laughs> like my best friend after that. He does <laughs> weird shit sometimes, but, but God damn, man, yeah. this shit blew me, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I just want to say this, man. If you somebody in the industry. You feel me? You rapping and shit like that, and people paying for your service, bro. Give it your all, bro. Your, or at least yeah. give it something, bro. Yeah. Give yeah. it something. When I play y'all this verse, y'all gonna be like, bro, what the fuck going on? <laughs> what right. the fuck? It sounded like he was reading out of a book. Oh, what you talking about that social boy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this nigga, yo, you really going? Yo, this dude is crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, I got some crazy <laughs> stories, oh, dog. Dog, oh, damn. I got some crazy. Listen, so I, I was fuck with you, Mister Yule. You cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I was signed with Rick Ross for a long time, so I I, I was signed with Ross for three years, so I know a lot of these a lot of these yeah. guys. So I got crazy stories, man, like right. crazy freaking stories, bro. I want to hear that song though. So I ain't gonna oh, lie, sh- I'm gonna ask y'all here too, since y'all like <laughs> since y'all lived in Miami too. Do you feel like if motherfuckers are get out of Florida, like y'all probably know, like you know the major nine, you know the little dread and all that. <laughs> you feel like you know them boys really like leave that Florida yeah. shit, come to Atlanta. You feel like them boys are really. Do some shit here, like, cause I ain't gonna lie, cause here in Atlanta, bro, they's like, they like major now, like Lil Dread, Iceberg, and them, they be like, they're very underrated. You know what I'm saying? So, do y'all feel like, you know, cause y'all stayed in Miami for some years, do y'all feel like, if you wanna, as far as doing like rapping mm-hmm. and comedy and stuff like that, do you feel like you should get the fuck out of Florida and 
come today? I mean, that go for any any place like that you from. I feel like for the most part, like if if like you from a certain area, most of the time people not gonna understand your vision. So, Shout out, Boots. Yeah, I'm about to say so. Most of the time, you know, we out when, when we when we I guess them chosen ones, whatever you want to call it. You yeah. know, you you automatically outgrow your your box. You don't even be knowing it sometimes. So right. you gotta go ahead and go somewhere, yeah. whether that be the A or yeah. you know, yeah. L A or. So what was the New moment? York. What was the moment for you that made you think like, okay, look. Now I'm done with this Miami shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then just like, fuck, I want to come here. Oh, I had got on another yacht. Okay. And I was just like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. That was like the what? The fourth yacht? Fourth yacht that day. <laughs> that day. So I was Damn. like, you know what? I think I'm I done. Like, it was just, it was just like, you know, how, you know how something you could just be like, you know what? Like, just one day you just be like, I'm just done. Like, I'm yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but it was fun. Let me tell you my secret. Hmm. So, you know, I'm born and raised in Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. I was getting a little support, but not as much. You know, like, same thing, you know, hometown shit. I used to film a lot of content in L.A. and make motherfuckers think I was from L.A. Mm. And I would just travel out there and shoot, like, you know me, I shoot crazy. So I shoot, right. like, 50 skits in, like, a week mm. and just drop them every day. And I'll still be in Atlanta. But everybody think I was in L.A. Oh. And then they started supporting more. Support more but right. I'm in, but they be like, bro, I thought you was in Cali. No, I'm, in, I'm from Atlanta. And it's sad that people got to <laughs> see, like, like, especially somebody, you could know somebody all your life. Mm -hmm. They see that you in a, another type yeah. of vibe, but another situation. Yeah. You don't Not shine shoes no that. more. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's like that. they they can't even support that. They they rather go and, you know, yeah. support a stranger. So that's why you got to be that stranger that gets supported. Yeah. yeah. I, say, I say this, man, for... for if you're a local rapper, bro, right. if you're a local rapper, number one, get out your city. Right. That's number one. Go somewhere else, because when you go to a new city, as far as a rapper, when you go to a new city or a new state, I would recommend get out, go to a new state. You have a different sound. Yeah. All, every state has, like, d different uh, accents. Mm -hmm. So when, when somebody speaks, if a British person came up to you and spoke, you'd be like, yo, you sound different. It's unique. Mm -hmm. And, like, when, when people from Michigan come and they talk, you sound unique. It's different. Uh -oh. So get from where get from where you at because they they used to hearing that every day, yeah. every nigga that's around sound like you already. Sure. They yeah. the country rappers in Atlanta they booming because they're already popular within their group. Mm -hmm. If you trying to start up and you not popular, get out of that city, get out of that state, and go somewhere where you you're unique around the people. And if you hustle, you are gonna survive. Yeah. Facts, yeah. cause yeah. like cause like, yeah. I moved to LA for like six seven months, and that's when I like changed my whole life around. You know what I'm saying? I was sleeping on the couch. I was yeah. grinding. I was posting. I was like, do, all of do, us, bro. Do, do, Shit, yeah. I slept on many couches. Bro. Yeah, man. If you ain't slept on the couch yeah. during this journey, bro, you ain't gonna make it. Yeah, you ain't gonna. I'm make talking it. about consistent. If you ain't sleep on the couch more than six months, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. nigga couch surfing, man. surfing, bro. I'm talking yeah. about yes, bro. If you ain't fight over a pack of noodles, bro. You don't know. <laughs> but let me tell you what. Yeah, but boy. we were just okay. talking about this before the podcast. That's when it was the funnest, though. When is the right time you think to get married? It's not an age. It's not an age. It's really the person. Yeah, I'm talking about like, like, yeah. like, not like the age. I'm talking about like, because let's say age. I'm talking about like, like, what would it take for you to marry a man right now? Like, your standards. Stability. Okay. Mental health in check. People don't look at that shit. Fact. Mental health got to be all the way to fuck together in every aspect. And then like security. It's not just financial security. Anybody can throw me a bag. I need you to be like, if I'm going through shit, is you gonna be there to catch me when I fall in any aspect? And that will make me want to be like, oh, okay, maybe I consider marriage again. But right now, do I want to walk down the street and be like, oh, yeah, I'm looking for my next husband? No, my last marriage kind of put me like, ah, I got to make sure I marry the right person the next time. Because this one trying to kill me from the last marriage. If you want to do the trial and error, do the trial and error. Right. right. All I say is, man, fuck all that sentimental shit. Just fuck until you find somebody you right. like, man. But well, Ching, when you plan on getting married? Never. No. All right, that's all right. good. Hey, yeah, go I'm on that same Never. page. I'm... Yeah. Ladies, if you say you can get cheap, oh, sir. <laughs> right, you the GOAT. You're going to end up on them OnlyFans. You can fans. get this dick, <laughs> for sure. All so right, well, tell look. Tell, hey, everybody tell you where to follow at. You know Come on, saying? man. Follow me on Instagram, man. Ink Capone. That's with two Ks, man. Ink Capone, man. You can find me on YouTube, Chink Capone. OnlyFans, Chink Capone, man. Subscribe. That's you see you your mean. girl on there, it's just business. You can find me on Instagram at naserima.laydome. Naserima is American backwards dot model backwards on Instagram. And my company, my lingerie business is laydomeray.com. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. BHM. Uh, as you can see, every day is Friday. We fucking lit. We turnt. You guys are awesome. We're fucking awesome. Stay awesome. Be great. Hey, and we signing off.